Hello, I'm Sarah in Turkey from Brazil. You are not alone. Today's promise. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or in dread of them. For the Lord your God is the one who is going with you. He will not desert or abandon you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Hello ladies. Today I wanted to praise the Lord for all the amazing things that He is working in my life, even the ones I cannot see yet. Every morning waking up is an exciting day when I know that He will be at my side. Life is not without trouble, but I have the assurance that I'm loved with an everlasting love, that I'm not forsaking. My favorite part of the day is when he wakes me up before down, takes me to my favorite spot in the house where I can listen to his voice and I'm filled with his love and washed by his words. Just thinking about it now, bringing the desire to start my day all over again so I can have our time together. This doesn't mean that he is not with me during the day. He is every second of it but I usually can get distracted by the business of life with the many things and to-dos. But he is so good and always brings me back to him when I begin to drift away from his presence. Isn't he an amazing heavenly husband? I can cling without words because he will never leave me. I hope that each of you reading this can also experience his deep love for you. We go through seasons, trials, and crises in our lives. Looking back, when I first started this journey, I never thought that it would be possible to feel this joy and happiness even after losing everything. Now I can see that I didn't lose, but I gained everything. Every trial and difficulty brought me close to him and changed me. Without the difficulties, I don't believe I would be able to have the relationship that the today I have with my heavenly husband, and I want more. Ladies, maybe you are at the place you don't want to be now, but remember, he is with you and you are not alone. When I begin looking at him, my heart and mind begin to change. So surrender to him, let it go, and let him change everything for you as well. When you do, you will finally enjoy the abundant life. The Lord appeared to him long ago, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have drawn you out with kindness. Jeremiah 31, 3 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or in dread of them. For the Lord your God is the one who is going with you. He will not desert you or abandon you. Deuteronomy 31, 6.